Thank you for the wonderful performance. I find the show to be truly creative. It's a tribute to calligraphy through dance. What's on screen is the entirety of Sun Guoting's shuku. I believe that anyone's first impression upon seeing it will be its sense of grandeur and magnificence. Professor Li, could you please give us an overview of its content? Sun Guoting's shuku is a very important part of our art history. Shupu holds great historical importance. It was created by Sun Guoting over 1,300 years ago during the early Tang Dynasty. Spanning 27 centimeters in height, it was written on white hand paper across 20 sheets nearly 9 meters long. Professor Yang Tao and I have both taken a good look at the original masterpiece. As we approached it, we felt a sense of reverence, holding our breath, and meticulously examining every little detail. The emotions of excitement and inspiration that it instills truly set it apart as an exceptional masterpiece. It's a work that no calligrapher can afford to overlook. Cursive script can be categorized into great cursive or wild cursive, as well as small cursive or regular cursive. Shupu is a prime example of small cursive, known for its standardization, making it an essential model for beginners. It offers insights into the brushwork techniques of renowned calligraphers Wang Xichi and Wang Xianzhi, enhancing its artistic value. Beyond its calligraphic importance, Shupu boasts over 3,700 characters of theoretical content. It covers the artistic criticism, writing techniques, appreciation, education, and historical insights into calligraphy. It is also a captivating literary creation composed in regular verse with an elegant and rhythmic prose style. Its inclusivity encourages readers to explore diverse associations, fostering deep contemplation and reflection. It appears the significance of Shupu has transcended calligraphy. It possesses theoretical, calligraphic, and literary value. Professor Young, as someone who has seen the original manuscript, how do you feel when you first saw it? Experiencing an authentic piece in person is very different from viewing a reproduction or publication. Observing it up close, a sense of wonder arises. Is this genuine? Were the characters truly written by someone over a millennium ago? It's almost electrifying. As I gaze at it, the characters grow more familiar, yet remain distinct from those I've previously encountered. This is due to the subtle ink variations within the brush strokes the delicate marks left by the brush, and the vivid presence of every nuance. This depth and detail can only be truly appreciated when witnessing the original work firsthand. Within Shupu, there lies a crucial theory, best described as the value of calligraphy lies in this flowing and smooth strokes. That's why many beginners refer to Shupu as a model for their practice. I'd like to ask our guests to guide us through an appreciation of this work. Sun Guoting, a brilliant calligrapher, excels in both theoretical research and practical experience, allowing him to create exceptional works. Shu Pu, in small cursive, showcases his skill with a small hard bristle brush, emphasizing sharp strokes. The masterpiece reveals a harmonious interplay of central and lateral strokes, exhibiting flexibility and creating captivating lines. Central strokes symbolize simplicity and solidity, while lateral strokes exude elegance and beauty. It combines a sense of stability, simplicity, and elegance. While some believe that understanding the aesthetics of cursive script requires the ability to read it, I hold a different view. I believe that anyone, regardless of their calligraphic proficiency, can appreciate its value. Cursive script acts as a portal, offering glimpses of nature's wonders, like a forest, each stroke represents a unique tree, 
and amid the seeming disorder, a subtle harmony emerges, evoking a captivating sense of beauty. When observing cursive script, focusing on its momentum allows us to sense the subtle shifts in the writer's emotions and mindset. This is evident in the opening section of Shupu. The characters begin with a sense of tranquility, gradually fluctuating in emotions. As we delve deeper, we can discern the changing seasons and the passage of time, experiencing the transition from spring to summer and eventually to the melancholic natural order of autumn and winter. To fully appreciate cursive calligraphy, it's essential to cultivate a mindset that connects with nature, allowing a sense of unity to develop as it integrates into our inner being. Now it's time for the writing session. Let's watch a video recording of an enthusiast in action. As we look closely, we can sense the lyrical quality of the specific excerpt. Professor Yang, do you have any advice for the writer on copying Shupu to capture the essence intended by Sun Guoting? The strokes are remarkably steady showcasing a strong grasp of fundamental techniques. While offering a suggestion, I notice that she tends to apply force at one point and retracts it at another, creating a discernible pattern. However, in Sun Guoting's calligraphy, such a pattern was intentionally disrupted. Therefore, I suggest that the writer consider adjusting her rhythm when dipping the brush and altering the regularity of her starting and stopping points. This will help to create a more natural flow and prevent the strokes from appearing too uniform. Thank you for your kind words and valuable suggestions. Now let's hear from this enthusiast. Hello everyone, my name is Zhou Kexin. I'm currently a student at Shanghai Normal University. I mainly focus on practicing seal script and regular script, which sometimes leads to stiffness in my hand while writing. I also face difficulties when writing closely connected strokes. Thank you for the valuable advice and guidance. Thank you. Let's now take a moment to admire the pieces of calligraphy created by the enthusiasts. 